savings, style, and selection. Come celebrate with us. Happy anniversary. KMTV and Omaha area golf courses are teaming up to bring you divot deals. Visit the deals page on 3newsnow.com and save on your next golf outing. This week, save 50% on your next round at Trigarin. Visit 3newsnow.com to get your discounted round today. Stay connected with KMTV 3 News Now. This is KMTV 3 News Now Weekend. A new topic of discussion could be added to Nebraska schools curriculum. Good evening, I'm Megan Hahn along with Megan Stewart. Climate change was the focus of the State Board of Education this week. It could be added to science standards for all Nebraska schools. This would be the first time climate change would be added to the curriculum. 3 News Now reporter Nick Starling joins us now about what this means for students. Hey guys, according to state law, the standards in the science department have to be updated every seven years. And the last time they've adopted any new standards was back in 2010. The standards list what students should know in science from kindergarten through high school. In this proposal, students would evaluate the reliability and the validity of climate models for students to gather and analyze data from models to see if climate change is happening. An earlier draft said climate change was a settled science. But this draws passionate testimony from those for and against the hot topic of climate change and if it should be taught in schools. It's about time. Uh, they've been dragging their feet for uh, quite a while now. They're really propagandizing the children to believe in theories that are still hotly contested like global warming. If the board approves the standards next month, all school boards will have to change their own policies within a year. At 10, there is a poll to conduct how teachers and parents felt on this issue. We'll, re we'll reveal the results later. Reporting live in studio, Nick Starling, 3 News Now. Now, your weather alert first forecast. Well, in terms of our forecast, uh, our temperatures right now are around 69 degrees, a cool, wet day across the metro area. We still have some cloud cover overhead, as you can see, with an east-southeast wind at about 7 miles an hour. As we take a look at the radar, most of the precipitation between Denison and Atlantic over toward Des Moines, uh, just to the north of I-80, with a few scattered showers up around Norfolk over toward Tecama. We will continue to see at least a slight chance of maybe some showers as we head into the evening hours, but for the most part, a lot of this activity is pushing to the east, although we're seeing a little bit more development near Tecama. We'll keep a close eye on that, but as far as the rest of the evening goes, just kind of a cloudy, damp night. A look at the week ahead, well, it's not going to be warming up much. More on that upcoming in just a few minutes. Thank you, John. Tomorrow, events both protesting and supporting the Keystone XL Pipeline will convene in Lincoln and Omaha. This comes just ahead of the Nebraska Public Service Commission's vote on the pipeline's proposed route. It's what some say is a balancing act between economic benefit, imminent domain, and environmental concerns. Here's what some across Nebraska have to say. The Keystone XL pipeline proposal has been controversial since the beginning and the latest. According to Politico, leadership at TransCanada, the Canadian company behind the project, even questioning if it's still necessary. But in the meantime, good. KXL will have a significant positive impact on the Nebraska economy during both the construction period and the operation period. Or bad. A spill to the Okalala Aquifer would not only threaten the drinking water of millions of Americans, but threaten the livelihoods of hundreds and thousands of farmers and ranchers. That's the question the Nebraska Public Service Commission will need to decide about the proposed 275-mile pipeline route that is slated to exercise eminent domain. Please give landowners a seat at the table by heeding our testimony in these hearings, something that doesn't protect and advance the interests of the landowners and the citizenry certainly can't serve or advance any public interest. Hundreds of people have turned out to public meetings across the state, both for and against the project, weighing the costs and benefits. It will bring in thousands of jobs, um, generate millions in taxes, um, and also transport a secure, stable supply of crude oil from North America. The Public Service Commission's final hearings will take place next week, starting Monday morning. And of course, we'll bring you coverage of tomorrow's rally right here on 3 News Now. 
Nebraska officials are just a few days from debating the future of the Keystone XL pipeline, but some topics are already off the table. The former judge hired by the Public Service Commission to conduct the meetings granted a Trans-Canada Trans -Canada request to limit testimony. That means comments about safety and whether the pipeline is needed will not be allowed. Testimony is set to start Monday morning at 9 and is expected to last five days. Health officials say the number of people sickened in a northeastern Nebraska salmonella outbreak has risen to nearly two dozen people. The Elkhorn Logan Valley Public Health Department says there have been 22 confirmed cases and six probable cases. The source of the outbreak hasn't been confirmed, but the department says investigators have found all of the people stricken ate at Red Door Coffee in West Point. The department says the Red Door's owners and staffers are cooperating with investigators. Salmonella is usually spread by eating contaminated food. Crowds packed one of Omaha's largest attractions for a back-to-school bash. 3 News Now reporter Jessica Ritchie talked to kids about why the Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium is the perfect place to spend their last days of summer. Kids are getting ready to go back to school at the Henry Dorley Zoo. Summer vacation is nearly over. My summer has been pretty great. We went camping and I went over to my grandma's a lot. And the kids agree the zoo is the place to be. There's a crocodiles, there's a bug exhibit with spiders, there's the jungle. You can go over there, see giraffes, there's touching tanks. And I like the new upgrades that they did for their elephant habitat. And there's some even stuff that we didn't know about that was gonna be here today, so that was nice. Cheer squads. Come on all you zoo fans, let me see you clap your hands. And drum lines from local high schools and colleges were out helping the kids get motivated for the new year. Go, 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 orange and black. It was like the perfect opportunity to come and spread school spirit right before the year starts. Our job is kind of just to get people excited. We try to get people dancing. We had some great dancers today. These cousins really got the crowds excited with an impromptu gymnastics show. Yeah. Can you talk to me and doing it? We love that stuff because then it gets everyone else excited about what we do. Study hard and have fun because school can be a really fun experience if you put the work in. Jessica Ritchie, 3 News Now. Back to School Bash isn't the only one going on. This weekend's only school-related event is also going on at Bayless Park in Council Bluffs. This morning, with a bash for three health screenings, exercise activities, cooking demonstrations, and of course, games and refreshments. So we have free wellness screenings where kids can get immunizations, dental checkups, and all of those kinds of things that they need to get started for school, as well as adults too that might need a checkup and maybe don't have insurance coverage. Today marked four years of the Community Wellness Bash. And we've been telling you about a new show right here on KMTV3, and this Sunday it will make its debut. It's called Omaha Sunday Morning, and it's a partnership between the 3 News Now team and the Omaha World Herald. Our Jennifer Griswold will be your host every week, bringing you local stories that spotlight Nebraska. This week, one story takes us to western Nebraska, where a former opera singer has traded in the, sa the stage for a saddle. We aren't paid. We just come and do it because we love doing it, and and they think I'm they think I'm doing them a favor. <laughs> you know, they put me in heaven for crying out loud. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I could do this every day. If you like CBS Sunday Morning, you'll love Omaha Sunday Morning. You can see the show's debut tomorrow at 7:30 here on 3 News Now, 3NewsNow.com, and Omaha.com. What was supposed to be a beautiful day turns ugly for one California couple couple by burglars. See the scary footage of their family home being robbed just hours after their daughter is born. That's coming up next. And a quick quick look at the next three days shows threat tracker in the green category Sunday through Tuesday. But there is a chance of a shower, maybe some drizzle or two. We'll talk about that after the break. Weather is my life, and I've been forecasting for decades. I know how important it is, and that's why I love what I do. I go out and talk to area schools. Kids have asked me, have I seen a tornado? Yes, I have. My husband and I met covering weather. We're a weather family. 
We all lead busy lives, work life, family life. Uh, I've got the same thing. Wherever I am, everybody's always asking, what is the weather like? And, and I love it. I love keeping you connected to the weather. This game is gritty. Every practice, every game day, we get it all we've got. This game is awesome. Exhilarating. Tough. Amazing. One word, exciting. Electrifying. Incredible. Relentless. Football is fantastic. Football is back. The Packers take on the Eagles. Thursday, August 10th. Packers preseason. It's all right here. On KMTV3. Your official Packers station. Now that's some good coverage. What's even better than primetime TV? TV that works on your time. With Contour TV from Cox, you can access the top 100 primetime TV shows available on demand anytime. So you can catch your favorite shows when it works for you. With CenturyLink, you could get a lot of drama if they don't have your top primetime shows on demand. Take the Cox Challenge. Get a better bundle with Contour TV, up to 100 megs internet and phone. Just $89.99 a month with no contract. Go online and take the Cox Challenge today. The world's greatest recipe, meat and fire. A simple combination that has now been mastered. You can't fake steak. Longhorn Steakhouse. Tonight's special firecrafted flavors. Try our new pepper-crusted New York strip, our outlaw ribeye, or a full rack of baby back ribs. And for lunch, try our Steakhouse burger or any Steakhouse lunch combo only at Longhorn. Invisible, invasive, underestimated. Nematodes are stealing over 10% of yields, and current protection methods aren't enough. But a new seed treatment technology controls nematodes before they attack. Introducing Nemastrike technology. It provides broad spectrum control from the start and stays in the root zone as plants grow. Take back your bushels with Nemastrike technology. Strike where nematodes attack. Missouri Valley, thanks for watching KMTV3. Dreary day, do we blame you for that? Or well, whose um, fault is this? I, it's, it's buck stops here, I guess, you know? <laughs> I'm just kidding. We needed the rain. My lawn definitely did. Yeah, it was nice to get a little bit of rain. It was one of those, boy, it's almost like a September-like lazy, rainy day, mm -hmm. at least to start things out today. It wasn't unpleasant. But the clouds still hanging around with a few breaks in the clouds here and there, too. But mostly cloudy, and this is what we're looking forward to through much of the night. But I think by and large, your Saturday evening plans should be pretty much intact if we see any rainfall, just a slight chance here and there. 69 degrees is the present temperature. We have an east southeasterly breeze at about seven miles an hour, and we picked up uh, just about nine hundredths out at Epley Airfield this evening. Not much in terms of humidity, about 60, uh, per, 60 degrees the dew point right now. And as we take a look, there you see the Areas of rain uh, off to the north of us and really around Norfolk and over toward the Tecama area. By and large, the showers that uh, ran through uh, western, southwestern Iowa rapidly pushed eastward. And uh, this is what we're left with now. But there are a few disturbances upstream that could ignite some additional isolated showers over the course of the nighttime into early Sunday. So we'll keep an eye on that. But by and large, quiet weather for the metro, at least for the time being. We'll zoom in, take a closer look at a few of these showers near Pender, just to the north and east of West Point, just about to cross Highway 77. These will continue to push east into the Onawa, Iowa areas. As we expand out, uh, we still have some clouds around the area, but upstream, not much going on. However, there is a, a couple of disturbances up in Montana and also that we'll be nosing into central Nebraska later on this evening. So we'll watch out for a spotty shower or two that could develop. And Sunday morning, we're also looking at the possibility of maybe some early morning drizzle. But other than that, most of Sunday should be okay. Beyond that, uh, right around the Rockies and uh, just to the uh, just to the east of Fort Collins, we still have a few lines of showers. Low pressure to our south with the trough extending up into the Black Hills region. For tonight and into tomorrow, the better chances for heavier rain and thunderstorms lies along a warm front in eastern Kansas, and that includes the Kansas City area. That will be where the heavier rainfall will be as we conclude the weekend. Just some spotty hit and miss showers possible early in the morning, maybe some drizzle. Other than that, I don't think we'll stay dry 
through the Omaha period, uh, through Omaha during the period, I should say. Maybe some morning drizzle in Omaha towards Kema early on Saturday, but by and large, I think we'll stay dry for the most part on Sunday. Temperatures, very cool. Low to mid 60s, 66 degrees in Plattsmouth, 70 in Falls City. For your Saturday evening, we'll be in the upper 60s, dropping into the mid 60s by around 1 a.m. Your forecast for tonight will drop into the lower 60s. A spotty shower or two possible, otherwise just mostly cloudy. Winds will be northeast tomorrow. We'll warm to about 75 degrees. There's a chance of a early morning shower or a little bit of drizzle, maybe some haze in the air. Northeast winds at 5 to 10 and a look at your seven day forecast heading into Monday. Slight chance of some showers. 78 degrees will be the high. We'll be at 79 on Tuesday, increasing cloud cover and then heading into Wednesday. That's our best chance for some rain, about a 40% chance. Other than that, just some hit and miss showers early Thursday into Friday and Saturday will where we will warm into the lower 80s. We're keeping track of the eclipse that's uh, upcoming on the 21st. Right now we're still a ways out, but it's looking like there could be uh, maybe some clouds that could obstruct the viewing. We'll keep our fingers crossed on that. We're listing it as fair to poor at this time, but we've got a ways to go to sort that out. I know earlier we were talking about back to school, back to school fall. Today feels more like fall than August. We've been advertising football on our channel already <laughs> on Thursday. So yeah, it does have kind of an autumnly like feel to it today. Hard to believe it's come so quickly. Mm, very fast, yep. Thanks, John. You bet. A California couple celebrates the birth of their first child a day after a day to remember. But some of those memories may be a bit tainted thanks to two crooks who tried to take advantage of the blessed event. Shrin Raji explains. Doing? Are you sleeping? Leela Grace Epps is just 10 days old. Born at 7 pounds, 1 ounce, she's quite the gift for first time parents Jeremy and Esther, who just experienced a loss in the family. I'm feeling really overwhelmed with joy, very blessed. My dad passed, and so she's really a blessing. But just hours after Leela was born, her parents got an alarming phone call from their home security system. She was 15 hours old. <laughs> uh, both me and her both tired, so to get news that someone was breaking into the house is a little shocking. The apps had just installed cameras at their home three weeks prior, only to find this. As he's walking up to the front door, you can hear him say, hey man, nobody's home. So they just take the boxes. They did try to kick the door in. Uh, they were not successful and still a footprint on the door. Two footprints on the door. <laughs> Deadbolts on the bottom of their door, along with the alarm, helped keep the thieves out. But Modesto police say they did get away with packages that, according to the EPS, were items for the baby. By looking at the video, detectives were able to identify the suspects involved and make an arrest. 35 year old Darvell Blackwell, a Los Angeles area man on parole who was recently allowed to move to Stanislaus County, was arrested Tuesday. We're just relieved that uh, he's captured and that uh, PD is still actively looking for. The other perpetrator. Some peace of mind for these two parents who can now put all their focus on little Leela. She's starting to smile a little bit and it just brings joy. It really does to a situation like that. Well, luckily they had cameras. Yeah, I mean, what a what a tragedy to come home. You know, you're just bringing home your yeah. newborn and then then that happens. Yeah, that's too bad. But yeah, luckily they luckily they had cameras, like you said. Well, a new disturbing report shows the rate of suicide among teens is rapidly growing. Even reaching a 40-year high, we look into what's behind the rise and why experts are blaming social media. Know what makes our 80th anniversary big? Selection. Brand name. Always low prices. Now with store-wide deals. It's our way to say thanks. Nebraska Furniture Mart. Hey, follow me. This is panoramic Wi-Fi from Cox. It's a new kind of Wi-Fi that blasts super fast signal across your entire home. No matter how many devices you throw at it. Bad puppy. And with powerful signal extenders, every room is covered. So, if you want your internet to be wall-to-wall -wall fast, get panoramic Wi-Fi with Cox high-speed internet. Okay, summer's going fast, and as kids, it's our job to squeeze fun out of everything we do. Like back-to-school shopping at Shields, where you can find cute tops, jeans, dresses, and fun. Shoes for sports. 
boots, plenty of team gear, or something a little more dressy. And look, still more fun. So hey, keep having fun and grab some cool stuff for school while you're at it. Inside you is confidence, ready to be embraced. When you empower that confidence with professional development, your career prospects improve. If you feel stuck or unfulfilled in your current job, Metropolitan Community College has career certificates you can earn on campus or online in under a year. Empower your confidence at Metropolitan Community College. Get started at mccneb.edu. Classes begin September 5th. U.S. Cellular has unlimited data and got rid of hidden fees. Now's your turn. Move it! Go, go, go! Didn't we just get rid of that? Sure did. But activation fees pop up all the time. Again? Yep, every time you upgrade your phone. Why does this keep happening? Because you added a new line. And it looks like someone just got a new phone. That was me. Sorry, guys. Get iPhone 7 on us with no activation fees, only from U.S. Cellular. Know what makes our 80th anniversary big? Selection. Brand name. Always low prices. Now with store-wide deals. It's our way to say thanks. Nebraska Furniture Mart. North Omaha. Thanks for watching KMTV3. A new report from the Centers for Disease Control says suicide is growing rapidly among teenagers. Since the year 2000, the suicide rate for teens is up 28% with an average of five deaths a day. The suicide rate for girls and young women ages 15 to 19 has reached a 40-year high. Jerrica Duncan looks into what's behind the rising teen toll. He was um, just an all-around great kid. He was an athlete. Jennifer Gonzalez says her 17-year-old son, Jack Farrell, seemed fine last Thanksgiving. And the next day I get woken up by the police knocking on my door saying I needed to come with them right away. I found out then uh, that he shot himself in the head. New CDC data shows suicide rates for boys like Farrell, age 15 to 19, increased more than 30%. Three years ago, Conrad Roy died in this truck from carbon monoxide poisoning after his friend, Michelle Carter, encouraged him to commit suicide through dozens of text messages. In a highly publicized trial, we learned both teens suffered from mental illness. The CDC also says suicide rates for teenage girls are at a 40-year high. Experts cite family instability and substance abuse among some factors for suicide, but the role of cyberbullying is becoming more prevalent. In June, 12-year-old Mallory Grossman took her own life. Her mother, Diane, says it was because she was harassed in texts, on Snapchat, and Instagram. In the beginning, it was just, it was teasing. It was name-calling. It was... Um, exclusion was an important part. You can't sit here. You're not welcome at this table. Professor Jean Twangy is a psychologist at San Diego State University. Teens uh, are much more likely now than they were just five years ago or seven years ago to say that they are anxious and depressed uh, and thinking about suicide. In a provocative new article for The Atlantic, Twangy makes a correlation between the popularity of smartphones and increased rates of suicide and depression among young people. Teens who use electronic devices more hours a day are more likely to be at risk for suicide. Twangy says the so-called smartphone generation is less likely to have face-to-face -face interaction with friends, which he says is crucial for mental health and building social skills. Jerika Duncan, CBS News, New York. A frightening experience for Muslim worshipers at a mosque in a Minnesota suburb during early morning prayer. Police say they are investigating a reported explosion at the Dar al Farouk Islamic Center in Bloomington. No one was reported injured in the blast that eyewitnesses say took place in an office after a device was thrown inside. One of our congregation member came out immediately and he saw a truck fleeing from the, from the parking lot running very high speed. The imam's office was heavily damaged by the device. Those affiliated with the mosque say it's been the target of numerous hate messages, emails, calls, and they say they believe this incident is a hate crime. A $10,000 reward is being offered to help catch the suspect.
Newly released video from the Chicago Fire Department reveals the moment an engine on an American Airlines plane bound for Miami caught fire on a runway last fall. The pilot of American Airlines Flight 383 aborted the takeoff and the 161 passengers and nine crew members were evacuated. No one was killed, but at least 20 people were injured as they slid down emergency chutes on the side of the plane that was on fire. Investigators still don't know what caused the engine to explode. Police say a man was pinned under a car in northwest Atlanta while trying to flee from gunfire. The incident started when a group of people pulled up on a vehicle and opened fire. The man was pinned under the car while trying to avoid being shot, but the driver of the vehicle, who also fled, didn't park it, which is why it rolled onto the man. You can see police and bystanders lifting the vehicle off of the man. The man is listed in critical condition. Week one of Nebraska's fall camp is in the books. A full report from the Huskers final practice of the week that's coming up next in sports. My story began when I was at a yearly exam and my doctor reminded me I needed my first mammogram. She got the call and then she got off the phone and she told me that she had cancer. May 30th, I'll have been a survivor for three years. All along, I wanted my kids to know that, sorry, um, that mom was going to be okay. Register today at ColemanGreatPlains.org. This game is gritty. Every practice, every game day, we get it all we've got. This game is awesome. Exhilarating. Tough. Amazing. One word, exciting. Electrifying. Incredible. Relentless. Football is fantastic. Football is back. The Packers take on the Eagles. Thursday, August 10th. Packers preseason. It's all right here. On KMTV3. Your official Packers station. Now that's some good coverage. Now open The Good Life at 202nd and Maple. The same great food, great drinks, and great people. Just like 180th and Pacific. I don't like to brag, but I will about the food. Pizza, burgers, sandwiches, and more. Families and large groups love it. Want a smooth atmosphere with great appetizers? Our new Good Life Lounge is now open. Meet friends and share a drink at The Good Life at the Creek, The Good Life Lounge, and the original Good Life. How do you want to live? As a decent person? Good husband. Is that it? Good? Of course not. King of the Hill? Better. Top of your game? Win. All powerful. Like a boss. Like a pro. We couldn't agree more. We are professional grade. Step up to GMC and get over 10,000 total value on specially equipped Sierra Crew Cab SLT vehicles. We are professional grade GMC. Hi, I'm Tom Wartman with Intertech Collision Centers. I started Intertech back in 1987. From day one, we've given to the communities that we are a part of by supporting local charities of all types. One is the Elkhorn Legion baseball team. We love giving to the kids. Sometimes, the kids give back. Accidents happen, so if you're ever in a wreck, call Intertech, the collision center that cares. Call Intertech. La Vista, thanks for watching KMTV3. Now, your Omaha Sports Insider Report. Outside certainly feels like fall, and that's exactly the time of year the Huskers are getting ready for right now. In just four Saturdays from today, Nebraska opens the 2017 season inside Memorial Stadium against Arkansas State. Omaha Sports Insider's Grace Yow has more on NU's preparations from fall camp. Today, Nebraska wrapped up the first week of fall camp, and following practice, Coach Riley spoke about how the week went for the Huskers. This has been just a really seamless, smooth week, maybe as much so as any that I've been in. You know, I, I don't want to speak in too dramatic of a fashion, but really good. Guys doing what they're supposed to do. The Huskers ended the first week with an 86-play scrimmage showcasing both sides of the ball. There was a lot of good plays uh, with, the, with the one defense in there. The one offense made some plays and not consistent but had some nice runs. 
all four quarterbacks actually functioned okay. It was, it was pretty good. With a lot of turnover and key spots for the Huskers heading into the 2017 season, Riley has been pleased with the leadership he's seen so far. I think that leadership has grown and developed, but I think this group in general has been uh, really, really easy to handle throughout the camp. The Huskers will be back at the Hawks Championship Center next week for the second week of fall camp. Reporting from the Hawks Championship Center in Lincoln, Grace Yowell, Omaha Sports Insider. Thanks, Grace. And some additional notes from the Huskers' final practice of NU's first week of fall camp. Nebraska originally planned to practice for the first time this fall inside Memorial Stadium today, but they had to move inside due to lightning in the area. And Mike Riley also giving some more praise to redshirt freshman wideout J.D. Spielman, calling his performance this week impressive. And after his father and Hall of Fame quarterback Kurt Warner tweeted out earlier this week, Riley confirmed freshman receiver Cade Warner has a broken hand. So week number one of five weeks of fall camp is in the books, but to stay up to date with the Huskers, head to omahasportsinsider.com. It's powered by 3 News Now and AM 590 ESPN Omaha. And Minnesota is up next in our Big Ten team previews. And if you didn't know the Golden Gophers have a new coach, P.J. Fleck is here to tell you. The fiery former Western Michigan head man now takes the reins in Minneapolis, hoping to row the boat and get the Gophers back atop the Big Ten. Every head football coach in America is self-promoting at some point. We're all selling ourselves. We're all showing what we're like. We're all recruiting our cultures. We're developing our cultures. You're the front porch of the institution. Uh, you know, you're not the most important thing on campus, but you're the front porch of, of nationally what everybody sees. And just keep changing our best and rowing the boat every single day. Minnesota is coming off a 9-4 and four year a season ago, and the Golden Gophers get back 12 starters, including running back Rodney Smith, who ran for over 1,200 yards and 16 touchdowns last season. Nebraska travels to Minneapolis to face P.J. Flex Gophers November 11th. Meanwhile, after leading the Oregon Ducks to the Final Four this past season, Nebraska native Dana Altman was back in his home state today at the Doan Coaches Clinic in Crete. And the former Creighton head coach still keeps tabs on the Blue Jays. Well, I follow Creighton uh, all the time. Uh, it's our second school. Uh, I think my dad, uh, it's one and one A, and I'm not sure who's one and one A sometimes. Uh, you spend 16 years at a place, uh, uh, it's very special. No, I uh, follow Creighton. I watch him as much as I can. Meanwhile, game three of a four-game set between the Royals and the Mariners has been postponed. Tonight at the K, the two teams will play a doubleheader tomorrow, starting at 1.15. In the minor league club, also in action at home this evening, the Chasers have won three in a row, hoping to keep the winning ways going against the Sacramento River Cats at Warner Park tonight. First pitch is set for 7.05. So we've gone from the big leagues to the minors, now to the high school ranks where at last check, Creighton Prep leads a team from South Dakota 11-4 in the American Legion Tournament. And Megan, as a Minnesota native a couple weeks ago, <laughs> you bashed Minnesota pro sports. Yes, I have How do critical. you feel about the Golden Gophers that we just saw? So I have no opinion, I'm going to be honest with you, but my fiancé, huge Gophers fan, lifelong Gophers fan, extremely excited. He says he's never been more excited about a Minnesota coach. So and, and you were telling me you've we'll seen see. the ESPNU documentary reality series kind of thing on being PJ Fleck, yes? Yeah, I have seen that. I've actually seen it twice, oh, not wow. by my own choice, but just because I love my fiance. And yeah, he definitely seems like a very energetic, very loud guy, much like yourself. That, that for sure. <laughs> PJ Fleck is a ball of energy, no doubt about it. Yeah, for sure. Well, thanks so much. We'll be back after the break. KMTV and Omaha area golf courses are teaming up to bring you divot deals. Visit the deals page on 3newsnow.com and save on your next golf outing. This week, save 50% on your next round at the Knolls. Visit 3newsnow.com to get your discounted round today. So what's the deal with homework? Did you hear the one about the nine-year-old named Peter? Funny kid. Serious digestive issues. Fortunately, he shares the spotlight with the GI specialists at Children's Hospital and Medical Center. The best place for kids, we've been seeing Peter for four years, managing his symptoms, controlling his diet, keeping that great sense of humor intact. Is this thing on? Children's Hospital and Medical Center. We know children. Know what makes our 80th anniversary big? Selection. Brand name. Always low prices. Now with store-wide deals. It's our way to say thanks. Nebraska Furniture Mart. 
This month, it's time for you to find a better way to a better window. Renewal by Anderson has redefined the industry with our commitment to giving you the best customer experience possible with the best people in the industry, a superior process, and an exclusive product. For a short time, receive one free window with every four you buy, plus flexible finance options to fit anyone's budget. One call, we do it all. Finally, a better way to a better window. Renewal by Sometimes the best vacation is a staycation. The Omaha Morning Blend wants to show you ways to enjoy your summer in some of our amazing local attractions. Join us this Thursday as we highlight the Henry Dorley Zoo. The Morning Blend Summer Staycations. There's no place like home. It's really truly about the passion that you have to make a difference in the life and helping the students understand the life skill because whether you realize it or not, you are teaching those life skills. I build a life that matters by building relationships. That's my whole foundation for everything because I learned time after time that if I want a kid to do something, I get to know them. I always want my kids to think about successful and what that looks like and, and what it's going to take. Nebraska Public School Teachers, giving every student the opportunity to learn and succeed. On any given day, anything can happen. That's the beauty of morning television. This is your eye-opener to this day. CBS This Morning, weekdays. Here's a look at the stories we're tracking right now. Just hours left to do your back-to-school shopping while skipping the sales tax. Iowa's tax-free holiday wraps up at midnight. That means you can avoid paying sales tax on school items, including, including clothes and shoes, that cost less than $100. You can find out what items qualify on our website at 3newsnow.com. Charges are pending in a rollover crash overnight near Midtown. Police say all three people in the injured crash near 35th and Dodge were intoxicated. One of them, a young teen who ran from the scene. OPD says the driver lost control on a curve. The SUV left the road, went airborne, eventually rolling and coming to a stop in a parking lot on Dodge Street. Two people were taken to Nebraska Medicine for treatment. A 19-year-old girl with head injuries fled the scene but was later found by officers. If you are heading to tonight's concert at the CenturyLink Center, you might want to leave your purse at home. Promoters for tonight's Shawn Mendes concert are only allowing purses smaller than four and a half inches long by six and a half inches. And ladies, we know that's not very big. Everyone going to tonight's show will be checked. And a family friendly event promised an afternoon of children's activities while encouraging kids to get up off the couch and enjoy the outdoors. Boys Town hosted its annual Healthy Kids Carnival today, and despite the rainy start, hundreds of kids came out to the event soaking up all the activities. 3 News Now photojournalist Mike Simmons brings us the sights and sounds. This event is the Healthy Kids Carnival. We just have games. Ooh, good shot. And some fun events. I'm in. There you go. There we go. Kids can go through and do some fitness interactive activities. We've got some dance groups. I think it's a good way to see all of the opportunities that they have in the Omaha area to just get active and stay active throughout the year. Kids really seem to love it. We've been playing games and winning prizes all today and then we have got our face painted and we're getting ready to get our, a new bike and a helmet. It gives you more family time. It's a good way to meet with our pediatric specialists, see that the doctors, you know, they're not just these high and mighty doctors. We love to interact with the kids and do these activities for the Omaha kids. And it's a great event. I look forward to coming back next year. Whatever, forget it. I got another one. Well, that looked like a fun time. And why not enjoy National Root Beer Float Day with a sweet treat from the Durham Museum? Guests were able to take in the sights at the museum all while drinking free root beer floats at its old-fashioned soda fountain. The, Dur the Durham's authentic soda fountain dates back to the earliest days of the Union Station, which opened in 1931. Today's celebration even brought out some folks, folks from Ohio to see a part of history. Well, we came for the floats, but we also came because we love history, and this is a gorgeous building. 
In addition to the museum's famous treat, visitors had the opportunity to learn more about the history of soda makers and, the experience, and experience how travelers enjoyed the soda fountain while passing through Union Station. Research indicates that student athletes who play football are more likely to suffer a head injury than any other sport. Coming up in our Back to School series, a closer look at specially designed helmets used to reduce those injuries. DiVentures has made a huge difference in my son's lives. They're super confident in the water. It's awesome. We've never had a class that's had more than four students to one teacher, and that makes a huge difference. The teachers here absolutely love what they do, and so that passion really radiates. Best part is I'm not gonna have to worry when they go swimming at the lake. And they both really love the heated pool. It all starts here. Dive Ventures Scuba and Swim Centers. New sessions starting soon. Call today. You're all set. You got Cox High Speed Internet with new panoramic Wi-Fi, so you'll have blazing fast speeds all over your house. We'll see about that. Wi-Fi never reaches all the way up here. Get Cox High Speed Internet starting at just $29.99 a month and ask about our new panoramic Wi-Fi. Get wall-to-wall -wall fast. Cox High Speed Internet starts at $29.99 a month. And ask about new panoramic Wi-Fi for blazing fast speeds all over. No way it's fast down here. You were right. It's fast all over. Yep. Right? Prepare to be blown away. Cox High Speed Internet starts at just $29.99 a month. And ask about our new panoramic Wi-Fi for wall-to-wall -wall fast. Where'd you get the shorts? The internet. Where will the next generation of caregivers come from? Who trains them? Who mentors them? Who inspires them? At CHI Health, we believe in the power of education. As partners with Creighton University, we're advancing a new era of academic health care. We're researching and collaborating to bring more minds to every case, every patient, every day. We're giving the future of care a new home. CHI Health. Imagine that. Griswold, thanks for watching KMTV3. I'm Jennifer Griswold. I'm excited to be presenting a new show, Omaha Sunday Morning, here on KMTV3. Along with our content partners at the Omaha World Herald, we'll bring you local stories that inform and inspire. No other better way to make a living, if you ask me. Spotlighting the spirit of Omaha and highlighting unique stories of people across the heartland. Join me for Omaha Sunday Morning at 7.30 on KMTV3, followed by CBS Sunday Morning. National figures indicate that student athletes experience more head trauma and concussions playing football compared to any other sport. The state's largest school district is working to keep players safe thanks to a specialized helmet. 3 News Now reporter Shantae Passmore explains. The runs, the hits, all eyes look to the gridiron and now there's a new set that never stops watching the players. It's a very robust, expensive tool that collects a lot of data. It's the Riddell Speedflex, hailed as a state-of-the-art helmet by Omaha Public Schools. So that's head impact information, but that's football information. On that's Thursday, the helmets came just in time for the start of football practice for all seven high schools. Every time a player is hit, it's going to make this noise. An alert push goes to staff on the sidelines. The data provides information so that the football coaches can have more information to coach their student athletes based off of head impact data. At $400 a pop, the Sherwood Foundation helped over 900 football students get over the financial hurdle. The next obstacle, how to interpret that data. Before coaches can analyze the data, first they'll have to sync the helmets to an assigned player, detailing basic info so when they get the alerts, they'll know who they're for. <laughs> Bellevue West already did a trial run. Now OPS is getting the lowdown on the software, eagerly embracing this technology. Uh, the biggest thing I think is just the reading that it's going to give us over a seven day period to make sure that we see just, you know, how, how, how often a kid is getting impacted at certain parts of their head. It's like an annoying text message that never stops beeping. 
While the alert system can't tell you whether a student athlete is injured, it advances the understanding of knowing whether a player receives significant impact, deserving of a steady gaze. At Benson High, Shante Passmore, 3 News Now. You can find more on this story and more from our In the Classroom series online. It's part of our commitment to covering education in our communities. Head to our website, 3newsnow.com. And here's a live look from our roof cam in southwest Omaha. John has your weekend forecast coming up next. Got a car question? Submit it at omahamorningblend.com and look for the answer every other Monday with the experts from Certified Transmission. This game is gritty. Every practice, every game day, we get it all we've got. This game is awesome. Exhilarating. Tough. Amazing. One word, exciting. Electrifying. Incredible. Relentless. Football is fantastic. Football is back. The Packers take on the Eagles. Thursday, August 10th. Packers preseason. It's all right here. On KMTV3. Your official Packers station. Now that's some good coverage. Hey, Mom, you know how you wanted me to go through the drive-thru? Well, I'm here, but a uh, slight problem. Uh-oh. Better get Mako. Celebrate Mako's 45th anniversary. Coming today for a $345 paint sale. Mako, America's Body Shop. How do you want to live? As a decent person? Good husband. Is that it? Good? Of course not. King of the Hill? Better. Top of your game? Win. All-powerful. Like a boss. Like a pro, we couldn't agree more. We are professional grade. Step up to GMC and get over 10,000 total value on specially equipped Sierra Crew Cab SLT vehicles. We are professional grade GMC. Low testosterone can cause these symptoms. Weight gain, lack of concentration, loss of muscle mass, no energy, low libido. Why should you live this way when testosterone is replaceable? See the trusted local physicians that specialize in men's health at Limitless Male Medical. We can help you reverse aging and feel young again. Most insurance accepted. Call today or visit online. Limitless Male Medical, 119th and Pacific. Be a hero again. Wouldn't it be great if you could just tell your remote what you want to watch instead of having to push a bunch of buttons? Cox's Contour TV voice remote lets you do this. Show me comedy horror movies. So easy, it's scary. Now let's try CenturyLink. Comedy movies, horror movies, any movie? CenturyLink is so last century. Take the Cox Challenge. Get a better bundle with Contour TV, up to 100 megs internet and phone. Just $89.99 a month with no contract. Gretna. Thanks for watching KMTV3. Brought to you by Omaha Marine Center. Sizzling summer new and used boat blowout going on now. Now, your weather alert forecast. Seem a little cool out there for you? Well, this verifies as we check out some of the neighborhoods around uh, Douglas, Sarpy County, Elkhorn 67, Lakeshore 68. Chalkle Hills at 67. That's a common number down through Fairview, Willow Springs and 68 in Field Club. We're not the only ones. It is colder than uh, it was 24 hours ago from really the Missouri Valley up into the Dakotas back into Montana. Some 10 degrees colder in 24 hours here in the metro. Tomorrow we'll try to make some gains with temperatures tomorrow climbing uh, into the 70s at least, but still well below average for this time of year. We take a look at our almanac. There's our highs today, 68. The uh, normal is 86. So we're looking almost about a 20 degree swing in uh, temperatures from the averages. Precip, we picked up nine hundredths of an inch. For the year, we're down a little over four inches. So we could make up a little bit more ground in terms of the rainfall. Here's our rain amounts over the past 24 hours. There's Omaha. The darker shades of green here indicate less than a half an inch, really less than two tenths of an inch in these areas here. A little bit more over the past 24 hours out around the Columbus. Some areas there picked up over an inch. But as far as where we stand right now, the precipitation over toward Decama seems to have uh, actually diminished a little bit now. A lot of this is fading away. Still a few showers around the Pender area. If we expand out, we've got low pressure to our south and really it's 
into northeast and east central Kansas and into Missouri where we'll see the stronger storms for the rest of the weekend. Headed to the ball game tonight. Doesn't seem like a baseball night, does it? 68 degrees to start things out. 65 by the time you head home. Mostly cloudy skies. East winds at 5 to 8. Saw a few motorcycles out, but for the rest of your Sunday, if you want to jump on the bike, you'll encounter mostly cloudy skies. I would wait until the afternoon hours. We'll see some breaks in the clouds, and I don't think we'll be seeing much rain around the metro area. Looking ahead, cooler than normal temperatures over the next two weeks. At least that's the way the medium range forecast models are uh, showing things. And still, just about a 30% chance we'll see above normal precipitation, mainly in central Nebraska. We'll start to dry out a little bit around the metro area. Here's a look at your seven day forecast 76 for tomorrow, 78 on Monday, just a slight chance of a shower. Same for, well, Wednesday we pick up a little bit, about a 40% chance through early Thursday, and then just slight chances Friday into next Saturday. At least we'll be in the lower 80s toward the end of the week. Megan? Thanks, John. There are a number of reasons a mom might not be able to give her baby breast milk. Those who don't want to turn to formula may choose donor milk. We look at a sharing group on Facebook and how it's different than a donor bank, and we ask, is it safe? What you got there, Chuck? An alternator and a door handle for your 72 Skylark. And you got it from you pull it. No one did it for you. No, no, no. Everyone knows a real man can pull it on his own. <clears throat> Just two bucks to get in and you found this final piece. This hidden harbinger of hot rod completion. boy, Chuck. Sell a vehicle or find the pieces and parts you need at you pull it. You pull it or we'll pull it for you. You pull it Nebraska.com. Welcome back, Grandma. Wow. I did a lot of shopping in Italy. And I met a nice man. Ciao. Gino. Gino. Da Italia. He's Italian. Very cool. Buick now has an SUV for that. The new Buick Envision. One of three luxury SUVs from the new Buick. Pay no interest for 72 months across this three SUV lineup. Plus, get purchase allowance on Envision Preferred, Enclave Leather, and Encore Premium models when you finance through GM Financial. It started with Mrs. B, a little lady with a big dream, and a small shop that became America's largest home furnishing store. 80 years later, Mrs. B's commitment to low prices, large selection, and expert help, all under one roof, still lives on today. It's a store like no other. Dedicated to bringing you great value. Every time. And we wouldn't be here without you. Nebraska Furniture Mart. 80 years of savings, style, and selection. Come celebrate with us. Thanks, Mrs. B. For a quality used vehicle, go to BaxterAuto.com, all with market value pricing. Shop over 2,000 quality used vehicles at 20 different local dealerships. All used vehicles come with a 125 point inspection, free vehicle history report, and a three day money back guarantee. See what your vehicle is worth now at BaxterAuto.com and let Baxter buy your vehicle. Search, shop, and save at BaxterAuto.com. This game is gritty, exhilarating, relentless, amazing. Football is fantastic. Football is back. The Packers take on the Eagles. Thursday, August 10th. On KMTV3, your official Packers station. Doctors say breastfeeding has been steadily making a comeback. From the 1970s, when the number of breastfeeding mothers was in the single digits, to now where data shows around half of babies are given breast milk at six months of age in Nebraska. But not all mothers are able to produce enough, which is why one group aims to normalize breast milk sharing. Quinn Long, who just said what you thought he said, receives donated breast milk. His mom can no longer produce, but Quinn is lactose intolerant. So his mom, Anita Long, gets breast milk donations through Facebook. He cannot drink milk whatsoever. Uh, so even at three years old, he's still able to get donor milk. She's in a Facebook group called Eats on Feets Nebraska. It's for moms to donate breast milk for free to children who need it. Long used to be a donor herself. It's all by trust through moms. How long ago was this pumped? What's your diet like? What medications do you take? You know, can I see your baby? Is your baby healthy and thriving on your milk? 
because you know a healthy happy baby is a really great indicator that what you're doing is working. Brandy Jorgensen voluntarily runs the page for both Iowa and Nebraska and makes sure users abide by the guidelines for safe milk sharing. The page has more than 1300 followers. It's been about seven years now that I've been doing it and it was just it was something I saw that there was a need for. It's really quite quite common for people to ask their sisters or their really good friends, but I would never take milk from a stranger ever, nor would I ever purchase it off of Craigslist. And you can, <laughs> unfortunately. Nebraska Medicine Lactation Consultant Stacia Kennedy says her hospital and others have breast milk banks where moms can go to get extra milk. Once it's pasteurized, then it is tested again for bacteria. But you often need a doctor's referral and there's a cost. $22 for four ounces. So we're definitely getting word out there that milk donation is a thing and that there are other options available to families. For Long, who can't afford to go to a donation bank, she credits the Facebook group for giving her son nourishment and a good life. Can you tell Megan what you like in your milk? I just think bubbly. Stay with us, we'll have a last look at your weekend forecast coming up after the break. We're here. We're American. We're going to take you home. Guys, you want to go out into the city on foot. Seriously, it's still kind of Mad Max out there. Let's do this. Make it back home to us. Be safe all when you can. Fire to home! You can run, but you can't hide. U.S. Cellular has unlimited data and got rid of hidden fees. Now's your turn. No, man! Go, go, go! Didn't we just get rid of that? Sure did, but activation fees pop up all the time. Again? Yep, every time you upgrade your phone. Why does this keep happening? Because you added a new line. And it looks like someone just got a new phone. That was me. Sorry, guys. Get iPhone 7 on us with no activation fees, only from U.S. Cellular. How do you want to live? As a decent person? Good husband. Is that it? Good? Of course not. King of the hill? Better. Top of your game? Win. All powerful. Like a boss. Like a pro. We couldn't agree more. We are professional grade. Step up to GMC and get over 10,000 total value on specially equipped Sierra Crew Cab SLT vehicles. We are professional grade GMC. No contract, no risk, no catch with Cox High Speed Internet. Call today and do everything you love online with Cox High Speed Internet starting at only $29.99 a month. Cox High Speed Internet delivers the super fast speed you need to surf, stream, and download with speed options up to 300 megabits per second. Plus, with most plans, you'll have free access to more than half a million Wi-Fi hotspots around town and when you travel. And Cox High Speed Internet is now available with new panoramic Wi-Fi that blasts super fast internet across your entire home. There's no contract and it's all backed by our 30 day money back guarantee. So it's absolutely risk free with a guaranteed two hour appointment window. With Cox High Speed Internet, get blazing speed at a great low price starting at just $29.99 a month. And ask about wall to wall fast panoramic Wi-Fi, our best in home Wi-Fi. Call today. KMTV and Omaha area golf courses are teaming up to bring you divot deals. Visit the deals page on 3newsnow.com and save on your next golf outing. This week, save 50% on your next round at Trigarin. Visit 3newsnow.com to get your discounted round today. Elkhorn, thanks for watching KMTV3. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tonight at 10. Stay connected with KMTV 3 News Now.